Hi guys, and welcome to update 1.17. This is really exciting for us, especially as creative builders, since this update is where we got all the blocks. Lots of fun different things to work with today. Uh, we're going to try and get into a couple of them here later in the episode. Uh, but before we get started, I've got a couple of things I want to cover. Um, first off, uh, my friends and I... Just a couple of us have started a, a Minecraft SMP survival server, and a couple of them are going to be streaming on Twitch. So I will include links down in the description if any of you are interested in watching the creative builder struggle his way through survival. Um, I'm going to comment again. Uh, we do have uh, relatively new end screen music here, composed by myself and Christian, one of my housemates. It's fantastic, so if, uh, just watch the end of the video, and I uh, hope you really enjoy that. Uh, if, you part if you really enjoyed it, leave a comment, and I'll be sure to pass that on to Christian, so you can, uh, he can get your uh, appreciation. All right, um, so let's get on to today's build. So today, we're going to really focus on the building process here. Um, Last episode, we had a whole bunch of technical difficulties, and really, you, uh, you as viewers lost out on the building process for everything we did in that episode. Um, however much there was built, you really didn't get to see the process. So, um, it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode today. I've got a whole bunch of different stuff going on with my online class uh, and summer classes. So, I'm going to try and cut down the time so that, you know, commit to the stuff that's important, but make sure I uh, save uh, some time for this as well. Um, we're just going to, we're going to be building a lighthouse today. So that was a request of a viewer in a previous episode, but it's always been something I've been planning to put out on this pier here. I feel like it, there really could not be a better place. I mean, look at this. It's fantastic. It faces right out towards the ocean and everything. So uh, we're going to be building it a little bit differently than a traditional lighthouse that you'll see built in Minecraft or just in the real world. Um, instead of the sort of spirals of red and white and the big electric light on top of the searchlight, we're going to be building something a little bit more medieval, a little bit more on theme with uh, the style that uh, we've been we have chosen. So got a little bit of a design going here. Um, I'm going to put down the uh, bottom layer framework and get back to you here in just a second. And I hope you enjoy today's episode. All right, guys, and welcome back. As I said, we're going to be sort of taking really closer steps today. Uh, I've just gone in and put in a cobblestone frame. So this is right here is about how high we're going to take this box shape. Uh, it's going to go up sort of as the foundation, and then we're going to have a cylinder sticking out of the top of that. Uh, you'll sort of see as we go along. And then here's the foundation for a little bit of a house sticking out of the side of it. Um, I'm going to go in and start filling in a little bit. We're going to get the bottom layer, at least in basics, done, and I'll get back to you here in just one minute. Hey guys, I'm back. So... What we got here is sort of the getting started process. Um, added a little bit more color, changed a little bit of the shape, and then added sort of the second story here, the house bit sticking out of the side. Uh, if you can see this sort of circular wooden pattern we've got going here, we're going to bring that up a couple more floors. So I'm going to get in there, add a roof here, add some height here, and really get the rest of the basic build done. And get back to you here in just one minute. All right, and we're back. So, um, ended up doing a little bit more than I'd hoped, or in at least intended, but I got a little bit carried away with um, some of the styles and stuff like that, and I really like how it's coming along. Uh, you'll notice here we got the sort of ring around here. We got some circular style windows here, a little bit of structural going up, really like the copper ruse. I feel like that really suits the build. I think I'll definitely be using a couple, some more of them. In this particular case, we're using some of the more weathered copper. I think it looks fantastic. All right, so just sort of talk about what we're planning on doing here. 
So next up, we're going to do a little bit of uh, detailing work along the outside to sort of try and bring the build to life. And then I'll get right back to you after that. And then we'll do the final step, which is sort of detailing the interior. And we'll be done for today. Uh, I'm going to get to the outside uh, detailing and get back to you here in just a minute. All right, and we're back. So I did some detailing on the outside. Uh, textured up these walls here. I'm probably going to do a little bit more with the foundation later. Um, but we'll see. Uh, added some texturing all the way along here. A little bit more shaping involved. And then that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to cover there. Just sort of textured out the build. I think it looks rather nice. Anyway, on to the interior. So I'm going to use a pretty similar technique as I uh, did for the Fisherman's uh, Shack back in episode one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then take you on a quick tour. Be right back. All right, and we're back. So I'm just going to take you on a quick tour of everything we did. I ended up adding a little bit of greenery to the foundation. I thought that looked really nice. Um, and then added a little porch here, uh, some shutters to this window, chimney for the furnace inside, which I'll get to in a second, and then these lights here hanging around the outside. It is a lighthouse after all. All right, and then we're gonna go inside here. Pretty simple. Uh, floor texturing, pretty much exactly what I'd, I have done in other buildings. Uh, sort of, this is the cooking room here. The furnace leads, of course, all the way up to the chimney. Uh, this is sort of the uh, primary storage room with a bed here. And then we take the stairs up to the second level. We've got a little bit more storage and the other bedroom here. It's got a little bit of view and uh, sort of I don't know what they're called, but essentially, uh, if you've got a fire going below, uh, this will catch uh, the heat going up the chimney and sort of emit it like you've got a, a second fireplace before the smoke escapes up through the top. We've got these nice carpets in here to sort of brighten the place up. And then if you go all the way up, and there are two levels. You can see I've added a little bit of an easier way so you can look out the windows. And then we'll go all the way up. Now these, these rooms are essentially just stopping points. So you don't have to climb up really long ladders. But go all the way up. You can see the top deck and all the lights that the lighthouse keeper needs to maintain. But that's pretty much all we've got for today's episode here. So thank you all for joining me. Uh, remember, there is uh, the vote going on in the comments uh, for a about two more weeks um, before we are done uh, on what my next uh, group of builds are going to be. Uh, we've got the farming town down river of Rivers End. Uh, we've got, or we've got the port city, uh, basically just over there. Uh, it's up to you guys. If I don't get any votes, I'll have to toss a coin or something like that. But it's up to you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.